What's going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another review. We're through. We're through to Wembley. I didn't expect us to make that light work of it, but we did. We did. Big up to the team. I'm going to say this early in the video because I know some frauds are going to say, oh, you're not going to speak on Pochettino because we won. No, no, no. We will speak on Pochettino. Big up to Poch. Big up to Poch because he actually did the right things today. It was good to see. I am not, I'm not that big of an agenda merchant. I'm not going to give a guy credit when he does the right things. Fair play to Poch today. We're going to delve into all of this in today's video. So hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. It's just good to see a, a convincing victory. I think that's the right word for it. This was actually convincing. This is our seventh home win in a row. But I feel like this is the first one that actually looked good. Like, even the Preston game, that was like, we finally get a goal in the 60th minute after looking like crap for an hour. And then we get two set pieces, score two set pieces, and it's 3-0. Well, we're going to pretend we played well. Sure. No, this one, this one was brilliant. From the lineup, to the way that we played, to the individuals, to the game management, everything worked. Everything worked superbly. Number one thing we had to do was score early, and we did. We were threatening them from the off, though. Like, the setup we had was really good. We finally, finally dropped Conor Gallagher for a game. Like, that, that's a first. And that means we could focus more on positioning. It means we're not just endlessly pressing for 90 minutes and having players out of position all the time, so it's easy for us to be transitioned against. Um, it meant we maintained a better structure. It meant we were pressing from Broya. It meant that Broya was the one pinning the centre-backs back instead of the 10 doing it and leaving space in behind. And look how much better we were. Look how much better we were. Like, we looked so much more like a cohesive team today. Chilwell, off the left-hand side. You guys know how critical I've been of Chilwell this season. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. That was partly due to him. That was partly due to the manager. Because it was the manager telling him to invert. It was a manager telling him um, to underlap and to try and make runs in behind. And he timed them superbly. Very unlucky not to get more than just the one assist. May or may not have deserved the penalty. Not too sure. Not too sure. But it was a very, very good performance from him. The Sassy. We were very concerned about him playing at right back. Oh no, we're going to have the Sassy overlapping. Boy, <laughs> we'll take that back. We'll take that back brilliant brilliant from him and he actually looks like he's building up a bit of a partnership with Raheem Sterling by the way the pair of them were linking up superbly for I think the second goal and the Sassy's goal as well the two of them link up so well so well um Colwell thought he had some rusty passing defensively solid though sweeped well I put the passing down to just rustiness from being in that position and I think if he had a few more games at left back I mean at center back he probably doesn't make that the those same um over hit passes but he did well he did really well Enzo Caicedo both do their job superbly my 100 million pound midfielder is getting me clutch goals to take my team to a final what is your 100 million pound midfielder doing Caicedo as well, another one, broke up play superbly, kept the defence ticking brilliantly, another brilliant job from him, but his performance always goes under the radar because again, price tag tax, but brilliant from him. Um, it was just good to see us constantly, constantly on them, especially after the first goal. Cole Palmer wakes up midway through the first half, bags himself another goal, and it's not to say he was bad before that either, he was just a little bit more quiet if anything. Second half, though, kicked into life. Kicked into life. He was linking up well with the likes of Gallagher, linking up well with Enzo, who was pressing high up the pitch as well. It was so good. So good. The substitutions as well. Pochettino's subs were good too. Gallagher comes on, he gets two assists. Matwaki comes on, he scores. Gilchrist comes on, another good tackle from him. Castledean comes on, gets a little bit of experience. I think he had a couple good moments as well. Also, just don't remember him having a bad moment. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. And now we're here. We're through to Wembley. We're through to Wembley. That's all that we needed. Get me to the cup final. And God willing, I can add a Carabao Cup medal to this wall. Do you know how shameless we can be as a fan base for the next three months? If we're the first team with a trophy and we have been dog shit for nine tenths of the season. 
Bring me that Carabao Cup. We will treat that like a UCL just to piss off everybody who goes trophyless this season. Because let Poch win a trophy. Let Poch win a trophy. All of your managers, bar Guardiola, he did win the Club World Cup. All your managers have three months to respond. And you had better respond. Do not let your manager go trophyless. We have now equaled the same amount of finals as Arteta as at Arsenal. <laughs> We are, un they're all unserious. I was going to say we're unserious, but we've been unserious for like the last year or so. And in spite of that, we might have a trophy. Please, God, on my life, give me that trophy, man. I will do sick, twisted, disgusting, disgraceful things to get that Carabao Cup. I need a trophy. We cannot go back to back years trophyless. Forget transfer dopamine. I need trophy dopamine. Get me my trophy dopamine. It's been too fucking long. I'm here scratching like a crack addict begging for a trophy. Get me a trophy, man. Get us a trophy. I need it. We need it. We all need it. So deliver. I don't care how we do it. There is no mount. There is no Kepa. That donkey dickhead Kai Havertz ain't here anymore. Uh, I was going to say Pulisic, not him. Lukaku ain't here. All of them frauds are gone. All them frauds are gone. As long as Anthony Taylor ain't reffing on our life, we can't do I can't be bothered for Anthony Taylor reffing. But I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. I thought this was going to be 1 0 and we take it to penalties. It really felt like one of them games. But brilliant, brilliant, brilliant from everybody involved. Mudrik, I did think, was a bit sloppy, though. Sorry, I had to just add that. I did think he was a little bit sloppy. Bro, yeah. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Like, it was one of those ones. But with Broya, he's raw. What you see is what you get with him. He got another goal. We take it. We move. Like, I just want him to keep growing, keep developing. Like, we got to understand. Broya had barely any game time last season before the ACL. Now he's only just getting game time. And he's still recovering, like, mentally from the ACL. We already know what it's like when you have injuries like that. You're always going to have ups and downs initially. So, Broya's always going to get patience with me. Mudrik... Let's get up to speed a little bit more. Let's get up to speed a little bit more. It weren't your best performance. We move. Sterling, excellent. Excellent. Brilliant moments of link up play from him again. Sadly, he didn't get the assist because I think Broya's goal was an, was an offside goal. Actually, yeah, so Broya didn't score. Broya didn't score. But hey, I mean, that's why sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. That's what we say about his performance. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Now get to Villa and get through. Like, I think we're going to go to a replay, if anything. I think that screams draw. But who knows? Who knows? We are a very unpredictable team. So we'll see what happens. But big up to everybody that's locked in. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. And we're on our way to Wembley. Up the Chelsea.